So going uh, to our uh, uh, course pages on in the left menu, here we have the exercise one, uh, and it works uh, uh, similar as in the Geo Python course. If you uh, haven't taken that course, or if you want to refresh on how we use the Git and GitHub and the uh, plugin on CSE notebooks, uh, there are some uh, links for that here. Um, and there are also some useful uh, hints for solving this week's exercise. Um, some of the feedback on the GeoPython course was that the exercises were a lot harder than the lessons. And that is kind of how it's meant to be, that you learn it by practicing what the basic concepts that we teach in the in the lessons uh, and you practices, practice it in the exercises. So, uh, so these hints might be uh, quite helpful uh, for you. Um, and there are also uh, some uh, useful links to, uh, to materials from the GeoPython course uh, relating to functions and assertions and, and data frames uh, that you could that might be handy to check if you're getting a bit stuck. Uh, but there are also a list of uh, different uh, hints that it's good to check uh, when solving this week's exercise. All right, but scrolling up to the top again, uh, uh, the exercises are again on GitHub. So it's important that you accept the assignment on GitHub Classroom by clicking the link uh, on the web pages here. And that will take you to uh, GitHub and set up the repository for you, for your exercise. So when that is done, you can click the link that it creates for you here. And you see here, it creates the repository for me uh, that is private. Um, and this week's exercise um, has uh, four problems in in two different uh, notebooks uh, and the readme file here. So just to uh, reiterate we the way we you do get the exercise from GitHub into uh, Jupyter Lab is by here pressing the code button and copying this uh, link going into Jupyter Lab. And then I recommend you to go back up in, in the auto GIS folder. So if you go to the top here, the auto GIS and then exercises. And then here you can use the uh, GitHub or the Git plugin and clone the repository by pasting the link from GitHub here. And I have already done that. So it will be here opening that folder. So uh, in this week's exercise uh, in the problem one to two notebook, you will be uh, going through um, the uh, different basic geometries that we went through in the lesson today. So points, line strings, and polygons. And you'll be creating uh, functions for that, uh, how to create them. Um, Yes, uh, and then create uh, custom functions that uh, uh, that let me just go back here and show this one instead on GitHub. So creating uh, basic or creating functions that will assert and check whether the types and values that you pass the functions are correct. Uh, so if uh, negative, if you pass it negative values, that that is what you're meant to do, um, and so on. Uh, yeah, check the correct values and types of the, the uh, geometries that you're creating with the functions. Um, so that is uh, problem one. And problem two is basically um, quite similar, just uh, uh, function with uh, with the uh, concerning the attributes of of different uh, geometric objects. 
Uh, yes. And then in problem three and four, uh, you will start to work with uh, data uh, and um, uh, reading in some data files that contains coordinates. So some of the students from Helsinki will be familiar with the travel times matrix um, that uh, consists of uh, a bunch of files that um, uh, is used to calculate the times from uh, from I think it's around thirteen thousand points in in the Helsinki area, and so there are thirteen thousand files uh, that uh, consists for uh, one file for each point um, with the information about um, going from one point to another point in in the matrix. So. So here you will be uh, reading in uh, the coordinates from the different columns um, of, of that one. We are only using one file uh, in this exercise, um, but uh, you will be reading in the coordinates from that file and calculating uh, or creating points from the coordinates and creating lines between the, the different points and doing some uh, some calculations on that um, the different lengths and uh, and distances yes so so you will be uh, yeah dig deep into how to read in uh, uh, geographical data from a text file and uh, using your pandas and geo pandas skills to create some some uh, line strings and calculating uh, geometric attributes from that okay so as i mentioned in the beginning it's in you are uh, encouraged to work in pairs if you would like and cooperate uh, but you have to submit the exercises individually so just remember to do that. Um, and then there are, yeah, this exercise is then due on Thursday uh, next week uh, before the next uh, seminar or work session. And uh, as in the last teaching period, there are still restrictions on how many uh, people can be in the uh, computer lab. Uh, uh, so I posted to Slack a uh, link to a spreadsheet similar to what we used last week. So just fill out when you want to be there. Uh, so and make sure that just to make sure that we comply with the regulations that are there. 